Well, I think its simplicity makes it um, special just on its own. Uh, to describe the product simply, the, the actual ID tag continuously just emits a unique identification and the receiver receives the identification and passes it on to electronic medium. This means that you can now electronically identify things instead of having to visually read a number or with a barcode, physically read the barcode with a barcode reader, you can on a cordless basis now identify um, people, assets, etc. And hence the computer electronically identified the owner of that card. And that gives you the security that once you've got that card, your computer, your data is safe. And no one can tamper with it. Simple technology, but what about patents? How protected is it? We have, uh, at the moment, nine patents. Um, they filed in various manners and in various countries. How secure is it? That's an interesting subject, too, because you have encryption coding processes, and uh, the way we came about in the method of protecting the data was a sort of two o'clock in the morning discovery of not applying thought processes towards known ways of muddling up information. Simply put, what our um, um, tag does is every time it sends a signal, it ages itself, and hence the data is never the same. So if you take a actual tag today and you call that tag Terry, um, tomorrow it'll have an age attached to it, and you can't reproduce that. We have the receiver, we have the transmitter, but obviously inside the machine there is software. How complicated is that? The software is, is, is relatively simplistic. The, the receiver is microprocessor based and passes information into the computer in, in a reasonable format for um, the computer to just collate the information. And we have written software that allows other integrators to take it further. Okay, I'd like to bring in Jeff Jarvis uh, at this point. Jeff is the Vice President of Business Development, as I said, from the Access uh, in Corporation in the United States, one of the newest suppliers of RFID. RFID, Radio Frequency Identification, an acronym I didn't know. Wireless communications, in other words, the, the wireless tracking of people and things. Uh, Jeff is on a short visit to South Africa to discuss trading opportunities with the AIT. Jeff, welcome once again. Why are you so interested in the Orbiter system, and uh, do you see potential for this technology? Thanks, Chris. <clears throat> I'm interested for selfish reasons. Uh, it's a new electronic identification technology. It's the best, uh, best that I've seen on the horizon for electronic commerce uh, and anything in the near term, and uh, our company investigates active systems that will read anywhere from a few centimeters up to maybe 30, uh, 35 meters. This is exciting because it addresses access control not just on the, on the uh, uh, asset level, but the information level as well. Uh, what's exciting to me is a conversation I had earlier with, uh, with Michael, in which he talked about the possibility of production runs uh, maybe even as early as this year. Access certainly hopes to be one of the conduits for this technology to come in the United States. That's not been set yet. But uh, I had mentioned earlier to him, I can think of about 8 million orbiters that we could use in an application for retrofit over the next 18 months, and probably about twice that uh, in some applications over the succeeding 18 months. So we're interested because it's new, it's unique, and because we have an immediate demand for it. HID Corporation is the largest RFID corporation in the world. A big player from the big league. Don Small, welcome to South Africa, welcome to the launch. What do you think about it? Thank you, Chris, and thanks for the extravagant introduction. Uh, I'm here because HID is interested in the technology. We are leaders in the passive technology world, and passive means uh, cards and tags that do not contain a battery. Uh, there's an inherent limitation with non-powered devices in the RF world, and that is that the read range tends to be very short. It would be simple to say, let's uh, under a meter in this application. As you saw in the earlier demonstration, this technology is working at, at significantly greater than a meter. And that opens totally different market opportunities than what HID is currently playing in with our passive technology. 
with the development of all the applications for our passive uh, products, has come now the application base to introduce active technology and further expand the product base, further expand the market. And so that's why I'm here to meet these people and examine